Uh, domestic Violence Awareness Month, among many other things. Yeah. They say she must be stupid how she continues with the bullshit excuses for why he's abusive. Still she goes through it and loses her focus, her mood is subdued but those bruises are showing. Chooses to stay in the success of silence, another victim of domestic violence and no matter how impressive that the scars his neighbors call police but she won't press charges. They heard her screaming there pleading for help in her bedroom with demons, bleeding herself, God forbid. He says that she is not loving him. One more excuse for fists to start pummeling, coloring canvases, actual black and blue face in the mirror. Like, this is not natural. It's no wonder she's singing a passive song. Why in winter she wearing sunglasses on? Maybe the passion gone. Maybe we had it wrong. Maybe she liked it more when she feels slapped upon. Excessive jealousy, homeboy is steadily committing felonies. Fists on her head and cheeks, this goes on endlessly. They say she better leave, but she stays around like he's a necessity. Calls himself a man, but he's not. How dare he intimidate her with these actions so scary. She know that she should call out, but she's scared. There's too many times that she's falling downstairs. There must be a limit where love ain't enough. Her skin so marked, makeup can't cover it up. He yells and she listens. She flinches and inches a little bit closer to having some pride. It gleams in the kitchen, the knife. It glistens and shines as it's visualized. Different scenarios, different scenarios only will carry if she has a spine. How long in this world must this young woman suffer? She keep having dreams about poison and supper. One day she'll fight back and get on the right track or maybe she won't. He's squeezing her throat. She reaching for something. She's seeing some stars in and out of her consciousness. Beating her heart at speed and she pleaded. He knuckled her down. She's bleeding. She's screaming and stuck on the ground. She stayed there and cried to the pain to subside. But one thing that had changed, she made up her mind. The next time he tried to go make her a drink, she grabbed a surprise she had taken by the sink. While he shouted and shouted, she mixed it, she mixed it. He guzzled it down and knocked out in three minutes. And while he was sleeping, snoring and dozing, she grabbed something heavy and bashed his skull open. Then uh -huh.